We'll get Jazz Pelicans and Lakers Clippers three weeks from tonight in the official restart, but what I wouldn't do for so much as a G League scrimmage right about now. We are dying for NBA basketball. We love it. We miss it. We're inching closer to it after six teams return to full scale practices today. The Magic were the first. They, of course, finished their mandatory quarantine inside the NBA bubble this week. By Saturday, every one of the 22 teams participating in the restart will have practiced at least once. That includes Joel Embiid and the Sixers, who, based on today's travel apparel, are really taking no chances. Embiid wore a hazmat suit on the flight from Philly. We can only assume custom made since the off the rack hazmat suits generally don't fit seven footers. But credit Embiid, business is business and Philly figures to be a very dangerous team. The final eight NBA teams arrive in the bubble Thursday. Among them, the top seeds in each conference, the Bucks and Lakers. L.A. actually arrives at midnight. The Raptors, Rockets, Pacers, Sixers, Blazers and Spurs pull into town as well. One note to add on the Rockets, James Harden and Russell Westbrook were not on the team flight, but will join the team at a later date. All players and personnel will quarantine, then gear up for practices once the quarantine is over. Malika Andrews joins us now from the NBA bubble in Orlando. Malika, we've spent so much time talking about masks and buzzers and social distancing. Today we had actual <laughs> basketball. What were players saying about <laughs> returning to the court? Finally, Kevin, we're talking about practice. So the, the players that were arriving on Tuesday have now cleared their 48 hour quarantine and registered two negative tests, which means that they were able to practice today. And one of the teams that was able to go through a full practice was the Orlando Magic. We spoke to Nikola Vucevic afterwards and he just said it felt so good to get back out there on the court, especially in light of the fact that he felt like he was talking to his walls a little bit the past couple of days because there was no one else around. And I watched the magic as they exited. Players had to walk out of practice. They weren't able to shower. They had to get these magic bands scanned on the way out of practice and before they were able to get back on the bus and their temperature had to be checked. So yes, there was basketball, but there were still some additional hurdles they had to clear from a health perspective. Let's talk about personnel for a minute, Malika. The Nets have been scouring the free agent wire more than any other team, really out of necessity. They added two players yesterday. What can you tell us about the addition of Michael Beasley? Yeah, so Michael Beasley is actually here in Orlando. He arrived at the hotel where the Nets are staying at this afternoon, and he cleared a physical and is now in the middle of his quarantine. Because he hasn't been regularly tested since the teams started uh, to be regularly tested in late June, he has to actually go through a six-day quarantine where he's going to be tested every day. But Jacques Vaughn, the head coach, said he's just excited to get those guys back on the court because there are so many new guys that the Nets are signing. They also added Jamal Crawford. Sean Marks joked with us reporters today that they might need to get name tags yeah. for all of the new guys on their team because there's just so many new faces. Malika, illustrate for us just what it's like to be a part of the bubble in terms of some of the technology the league is using to enforce distancing. Yeah, so one of the new devices that we have been given is this monitor, this device that monitors our social distance. And so when you're within six feet of another person for five seconds, it starts blinking like it is right now. And then it starts to make that noise that you can hear now when you've been within six feet of a person for 10 seconds. So it's just to remind folks to make sure they're maintaining social distance. So when we were in the Utah Jazz practice, we were kind of dodging people left and right to avoid that sound going off. And unfortunately, while it is a happy little sound, see, it's a, it's a sensitive sensor. <laughs> while it's a happy sound, you can't, you can't change it to be 50 Cent or to be Katy Perry or something else that you may want it to be. Yeah, no ringtones there, bringing it back to to the days of beepers <laughs> from the center of the sports world, Orlando, Florida. That's Malik Andrews. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.